I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, and on today's shortcut series, we are going to be cutting up a layer cake, adding some background fabric to give you a beginner quilt. If you're a beginner, this is a great quilt to start with. All you need is a layer cake. Today we're using Lindsay McRae's Flowers for Freya because we really like all the bright colors in it, and you need two and an eighth yards background, and then binding and backing. I am stitching with the 2000 Aurifil. Color 2000 is my favorite. And since we're working with layer cakes, we're gonna use the Perfect 10 ruler that is perfect for cutting layer cakes. So, let's get started. To show you how to cut your layer cake we do have a diagram on our free pattern the first thing I will do is cut a straight line to go from and then I'm going to cut a four and a half inch strip and this ruler is great because it just has markings at the half inches so it's easy to see and that's what we're using today and I'm going to cut a two and a half inch strip and then you can save this for another project. From your four and a half inch strip, you're gonna cut one four and a half inch square. So I'm gonna line the ruler up right here. Rotate. And you're gonna cut a four and a half inch square. And then we're gonna cut a two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle. And then this is scrap, so you can save this for another project. And that will be your fabric A. I'm gonna put this on a Lori Holt design board so it is easy to keep everything labeled. So that's your A and B. We'll come back and we're gonna cut two two and a half inch strips from this strip. And when you're cutting, you could cut a couple of layer cakes at a time. I would probably only do a max of three at a time. And I'm gonna cut a five inch piece. And then I will move this down to two and a half and that's gonna give you two two and a half inch squares. One will be for fabric C, and one will be for fabric D. And you're gonna follow your pattern and you're gonna cut 36 of your layer cake squares just like this, and you're gonna cut all of your background fabrics, and we're gonna put our block together. This quilt is super simple. On your first step, you're gonna lay a fabric A, a fabric F, and a fabric C square. You want the block to be scrappy, so you just wanna make sure the A and the C are different fabrics. Remove your alpha bitties. You will put these two fabrics right sides together, stitch with a quarter inch seam, and press. Once that is done, you will attach that to your fabric A square, and this sweet unit will measure four and a half by six and a half, and you're gonna make 36 of these. We're gonna keep building on this block we're gonna put a fabric F and a fabric B rectangle together. Now you want your fabric C that was here to match the fabric B. So these two match. You will put these two fabrics right sides together, stitch with a quarter inch seam, and then you will attach that to the right side of your sweet unit. And when that is assembled, it's gonna measure six and a half inches square, and you're also gonna make 36 of these. To keep building your block, you're gonna lay out two fabric E rectangles and a fabric D square. And first, you will take your first fabric E, put that right sides together, and stitch. Do the same thing here, right sides together, stitch. We'll put these together, and this is going to be your lollies unit. Now we're gonna take four of these to build our block. So to build your block, you just need four of your units, and this is meant to be totally scrappy, and the most important thing is to pay attention to where this fabric is, the bigger fabric, just so that everything is lined up correctly. Okay. 
And so you're gonna have two bigger squares here and two bigger squares here. And we try to do this pretty scrappy so that the fabrics don't touch. And you're just gonna put these right sides together and pin, right sides together and pin. Once you press, you will pin and stitch across and you will have your layer cake lollies block. It will measure 16 and a half inches square and you're gonna make nine of these and then we'll assemble the quilt. Very easy, very beginner. Lay out your blocks, three blocks across and three blocks down. Assemble your blocks into rows, then assemble your three rows together into your quilt center. Once your quilt center is assembled, you're gonna add your side borders, press, and then add your top and bottom borders. And there you have it. The Layer Cake Lollies is a wonderful quilt. It will look good in any type of fabrics, even batiks. So try it out, share it with us on social media, and I'll see you next time.